there! Now we're going to do a problem about a beacon in the ocean, also known as a, a lighthouse of sorts. But we are going to call it a beacon, alright? Alright, let's see the problem. A rotating beacon is located two miles out in the water. Let A be the point on the shore that is closest to the beacon. As the beacon rotates at 10 revolutions per minute, the beam of light sweeps down the shore once each time it revolves. Assume that the shore is straight. How fast is the point where the beam hits the shore moving at an instant when the beam is lighting up a point two miles along the shore from the point A? Alright, so we have our problem and now we have to draw a picture. Alright, so we have, uh, we have the shore here. Oh, the shore is supposed to be straight. Well, that's, that's straight enough, I guess. Here's point A. And we have uh, we have a beacon out there someplace. Let's see. The beacon's going to be here, and A is the closest point to the beacon, which means that this makes a uh, right angle. And the beacon has some light that it's shining. And let's see. The light that it's shining is two miles away from A. So here we have two miles. And let's see what else. Aha! In the water. So in the water, uh, the closest point is two miles away. This is all supposed to be water here. That's great. Okay, and this, this beam's moving, so really we should probably call this something like X of T. And the beacon is rotating, and so this should be called theta of T. And we know something. We know it makes... 10 revolutions per minute. So this tells us that theta prime of t is equal to 2 pi times 10. That's 10 revolutions per minute. And let's see, what do we want to know? Well, we want to know uh, how fast this beam of light appears to be moving. So we want to know x prime of t. That's, that's what we want to know. Now that we have our picture, we should find an equation. So let's look at our picture. Here's our picture again. And you know, I, I see a right triangle here, and I see a theta. And so um, I, think, I think what I should do is I should write the, this, the following equation here. Let's see, I should write um, tan of theta of t is equal to, well, let's look, what is, what is tangent of theta t? Well, that's opposite over adjacent, so that's going to be x of t, x of t over uh, 2. And you may say, well, why are, you, why are you choosing this? Well, I know that when I take the derivative of this in my next step, uh, I'm going to have an x prime around here and I'll probably be able to solve for it. And that, if you recall, is what I want to know. Now that we have our equation, we should differentiate the equation. All right, so we're going to take our equation and differentiate the whole thing with respect to t. Uh, so we're going to be using the chain rule and stuff. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared theta of t times theta prime of t. And this is just x of, x of t times a constant, 1 half. So this is just. Uh, x prime of t over 2. And now that we've differentiated our equation, we must evaluate the equation at desired values. All right, so let's, uh, let's look at our equation here. All right, so the, the, the easy one to, to, to set up would be um, theta prime of t. I know what theta prime of t is. It is 2 pi times 10 and I don't know anything about x prime of t. That's my unknown. x prime of t over 2. Now what about secant of theta of t? Secant squared of theta of t. Well look, a secant is a 1 over cosine. And what do I know about this triangle when I have 2 miles and 2 miles here? Well this is a 45, 90, 45 right triangle. And so cosine of, of 45 degrees is 1 over the square root of 2. So since Cosine is 1 over the square root of 2. Secant is the square root of 2 over 1. And so this is going to be then 
secant squared is going to be the square root of 2 squared. Oh, this is outstanding because look what I have here. I have what the square root of 2 squared is equal to 2 times 2 pi times 10. And if I want to, I can multiply both sides by 2. So that's equal to x prime of t. And I get 2 times 2 times 2 times pi times 10. That's 80 pi uh, is equal to x prime of t. And this is 80 pi uh, miles per minute. All right, so we've solved this problem involving the rotating beacon in the ocean. That's fantastic. All right, time to do some more math.